I have a real heart for this uh, new generation. In fact, since 2000, year 2000, I've been spending most of my life speaking to people who are in the 18 to 30 crowd. So I rewrote the book to actually focus on this age group because I care about them so much. There were two problems that kept coming up that keep people from fulfilling their purpose in life. One of them is uh, envy and the other is people pleasing. And I divide it this way. Uh, envy is I must be like you to be happy. And uh, uh, people pleasing is I must be liked by you to be happy. Both of these will cause you to miss your uniqueness. And so uh, I wrote those two chapters to add on at the end as new materials as the two biggest problems uh, that people face. There is both an upside and a downside to social media. First, it's the most fantastic communication tool uh, ever invented. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm on Twitter. In fact, if you're not following me on Twitter, you're going to hell. <laughs> I'm on Facebook. I'm on Google Plus. I'm on LinkedIn. I, I use, I'm on Instagram. And the thing I love about um, uh, uh, these tools is it allows anybody in the world to directly contact me personally. You don't have to go through a secretary. You don't have to go through a bunch of uh, invitations. Anybody in the world can contact me. And I love this personal one-on-one -on -one contact and, and deal with people literally around the world all the time. The downside of social media is, one, we can waste a lot of time talking about nothing. Uh, and that could be a problem. And the other one is, it can lead to narcissism. When I wrote the book, Purpose Driven Life, I tried to think of the most counterculture statement I could think of. And so I began the church, uh, began the book with the, word, the words, it's not about you. Why? That's the most countercultural statement you can make in America today because everything in our society says it's all about you.